Thanks for waiting around, guys. Uh, we're here for another weekly update stream on the 17th of September, 2023. Here we have Big Piggy, also known as David Owen Morris, who's the co-founder of Raptoria. We have Alejandro, who is the boss of uh, Spanish marketing. We have Charlie. Uh, I can never remember the exact name of Charlie. Uh, but yeah, we'll just call him Charlie for now. Charlie, who's also the co-founder of Raptorium. Lawn, Lawn Jerry, yeah. Lawn. Lawn. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, Adam Sherman, who is also the lead moderator at uh, Discord Community. So welcome all. And uh, yeah, I suppose we'll just get started. So uh, Piggy, it's nice to have you on here. Are you feeling any better? Yeah, somewhat. I still haven't had my coffee yet, so I need to be mean to someone. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, as long as it's not me, then, then that's all right. But, I mean, I see you've dyed your hair and beard, so there's no reason to be mean anymore. <laughs> Why did you dye my hair and beard? Just <laughs> jealous, mate. I've, I've been to the barbers today, yeah. actually. Yeah. I have been to the barbers. Different one this time, though. Yeah, uh, he did an all right dye job. He don't look so ginger no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you threw me off now. I don't know how to start with that one. Yeah, you always mess things up, Piggy. All right. What does the barber uh, do to you? I'm just curious. But I don't really want to describe it. No. Okay. No, no, no. You won't tell me your real name, so. Uh... I'm not going to describe the barber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we mentioned before that uh, we had uh, the Komodo guys uh, in open channels with us now on the back of uh, Alejandro's article, which was really nice. And uh, and now they've uh, agreed to, to uh, integrate our full Raptorium protocol as opposed to the, uh, the partial... Uh, integration which was on atomic deck so that is a really nice thing from them if you're watching komodo team we really appreciate that and uh and we we we're looking forward to more uh relationships moving forward um also don't forget we've got the uh 10 millimeter charlie probably won't like me to mention this but we've got the 10 millimeter spanner or wrench knives uh called different names depending on where you're from in the world uh code name the elusive uh with auctions rolling up 15 minutes into the crypto smith stream which is after this stream so if you want to get bidding on those uh you're not allowed to bid on the slant knife because that's charlie's um you can if you want to though you can if you want to. and uh yeah so so 15 minutes into the stream, the auction will roll up and whoever wins the knives gets the knives. They all are at Laser Scan 2 for, for upcom upcoming games and uh, the assets release and the marketplace. So, uh, yeah, get on that, guys. Piggy? Yeah. Well, what, what else has been going on? Um, All kinds of stuff, really. A bit all over the place this week. We've had uh, the hack, not just on Coinex, but uh, on Vimitano and what was left of some of the PexPay wallets. They were in the process of shutting down, so it was very little. And they've just covered it rather than uh, making a big deal of it. Uh, what was it? I was going. Where was it? I was going to go with that. So it looks like, yeah, looks like we may have uh, EVM zero day in the wild, which isn't exactly the nicest of things. Coinex seem to be handling everything well, and yeah, what else is going on? Um, we're working on an asset index. You've seen Nando showing the Explorer with some asset, 
assets functionality on the test net but uh, we need a full index before we can get the full range of services out of the explorer that we're used to like basically looking up assets similarly to if they were rtm coins getting all that same information for a single asset so once that's done things are going to get fun and interesting Yep, uh, the Marketplace team sent me something very special the other day. Uh, I did actually tweet about it, but I never mentioned what it was. And I don't think I'm going to mention it now, but a few of us on here have seen uh, what that is, and uh, it's pretty good stuff. And a uh, big shout out to the Marketplace team for all the hard work that they're putting in uh, with that. That's literally two parts of what we need. Uh, so, yeah. It looks to be uh, pretty good, and uh, as long as it's all working right, which you know I've tested certain aspects of it, it looks to be working so far. So uh, then, then all good. Uh, also, Thrift Store has made a YouTube video as part of our bounties campaign that we put out for Testnet, and on how to get started with Assets Testnet. So if you want to go and check that out, head over to Thrift Store's channel. And it, it's pretty simple, really, uh, on getting started with the Assets Testnet. It makes it really easy for everyone to understand. Um, with a big thanks to Viral Decay, we now have the Mac OS X guide for Testnet up on the blog post. Um, a few days back now, Viral made the... Uh, made a little guide because he was having difficulties himself and we had a couple of other people asking uh, on how to get that started on Mac OS X. So now you'll see that on the blog post, that is blog.raptorium.com uh, and uh, it's one of the first two posts on there if you want to go and check that out. Uh, Sherm, we've got Wiz with some new functionality on the, uh, on the studio bot. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. Uh, basically, Wiz added some uh, you know, functionality. Basically, if you use the slash generate command, it put in a prompt. It'll actually add some options for you, some additional stuff in the prompt, making it a better image. And also added some buttons to the to the bot, so you can select a button and it'll make different size images. Whether you want a large image, landscape, or portrait, um, adding the face fix feature. You know how many batches you want to run. So it makes that a lot easier. He also just uh, popped in the other day a deform uh, command, which basically animates a image to multiple different images. So it's kind of an animated, AI generated, like, I don't know, image that you can play. So that's in there as well. So very cool stuff. So where can they check that out? Uh, they can go to the, let's see, what is it, the AI, what do we call it these days? The AI Studio channel. And if you're a Gigatoshi, you can uh, ask for the artist role and use the bot. Okay. And, uh, and if you're not already a Gigatoshi, you can level up to become one. There are 10 levels, with the 11th being the realm of the Kikitoshi's level and that's uh we do trivias on mondays and thursdays um 15 minutes before the trivia starts we open the uh the knighted gigatoshi window and uh if you send more than either one or more rtm to the uh, to the rain pot uh then you get to level up once uh during the trivia night so um we've got quite a few gigatoshis at the moment and uh yeah, it seems, seems to be popular. Uh, we have, well, we seem to have lots of new people coming over from uh, something that's called Baby Solana uh, to RTM, RTM with a big thanks to Viral Decay uh, for his proposal to his community over there. Uh, he's got some kind of three-month reward for holders of BSOL token in RTM with a share of 300,000 RTM currently. Um, but he's also proposed uh, smart nodes as a service uh, where each node will comprise of uh, uh, 50 to 100 NFTs. 
and represents partial ownership of a smart node as well. This is still in planning stage over there for viral. We're not officially endorsing it because it's nothing to do with RTM, uh, but it's nice to see people creating ideas around Raptorium smart nodes uh, and the upcoming asset layer, especially on uh, other chains as well. Uh, Sherm, we've got a renaming of Tinfoil, is that right? Uh, do, do we? I don't know, he referred it back to me today, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Where's he going to go back? I mean, I don't know, oh, yeah, for me it says Tinfoil again. It was the Tinfoil Forest, change it to, I don't know, I see Tinfoil again, so I'm not sure which is which. Some people still have the old name, some people have the new name. All right. All right, it's still tin tin foil forest on my screen or foil forest or whatever yeah i, I like the foil forest so what do you like piggy tin foil is tin foil so charlie likes foil forest piggy likes tin foil it looks like we've got a bit of uh bit of salt going on here well what piggy said was he foils foil he likes foil so I, does it if it's in a foil forest or a foil hat foils foil right right i don't know Dirty's here. I want to know about foil flashlights. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. I like uh, tinfoil and bitching. But... Tinfoil and bitching, yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, we have got new knighted levels automations now as well. Uh, we did say before that we were going to try and figure it out, but we couldn't. Uh, figure out the right code to tag the actual user who got the promotion. So now we figured out the code for that, and we yesterday me and Sherm were working on the um, on the roles on on me six and uh, and on the Discord as well. So now if you do level up on the on the on the knighted levels. You will see the tag and a little message on there, which is nice. We have also added some other messages that pop up depending on the role we also did make a little tweak which biggie doesn't seem very pleased about it so i had to reduce it to uh one emoji uh every time someone says evm or ethereum or uh eth we had a we had a, a poo poo emoji uh, that automatically popped up, which I thought was absolutely brilliant, uh, and uh, a lavatory, and also uh, a roll of toilet roll as well. Uh, yeah, which was uh, which is quite fitting. But I think Piggy, what Piggy was doing, he was talking about a general conversation in the in the general chat uh, with a bunch of other coins, and he did mention uh, one of those three uh, buzzwords. And uh, it put a little poo emoji on his um, comment. So it kind of disregarded everything that he said by having a poo emoji on there. So that's why I think he's a bit salty about that. Uh, but also we've got, uh, we, we can program it now. So anyone. You, you ain't seen salt yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we can program it. So if anyone says anything at all, uh, we can uh, do any sort of reaction now, which is pretty cool. Um, I suppose it's good for doing like temporary things when we've got events and stuff going on. So yeah, we've just been playing around with that at the moment. Uh, Sherm, is there anything uh, you want to mention about how the community is doing or anything like that? I mean, I'll just add that you know, the community is doing great. You know, they're really enjoying uh, messing around with assets and testing assets and creating some very creative names. So that's been fun. And you know, it's been great to see uh, a lot of new faces in the Discord and a lot of old faces coming back as well. Come back and check out assets. And you know, so, I'm doing good. Okay. Uh, Alejandro, how's things with you and uh, the Spanish community over there? <clears throat> Hello, guys. Um, uh, we are fine on the community. We are working. In, uh, we're. Last week we make uh, a lot of videos. Um, few lacks. Last week, few last week we make uh, uh, small videos, and the numbers are fine on, on Instagram. Very, a, a lot of people watching videos, small videos, short ones, and and the community is fine. We really are enjoying now on these assets testnet, and a, a lot of people on the groups are talking about getting into Raptorion again. So I, I can feel that it, it, 
it's getting much, much better than a few weeks ago. So I'm very happy of that, for that. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, you are here. I'm here. You're okay. here. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the community? Uh, not too much. Just, as always, a big thank you to the community for uh, for sticking with us and doing what they do and helping us uh, build stuff and just expanding the community overall. Uh, pretty lucky to have the community that we do. So, yeah, man, just uh, a big thank you to everybody. Dirty Miner, what is going on in the world of shitcoins, Mr. Shitcoin King? Uh, the max confirmed you can do the higher compression plots with 64 gigs RAM. Uh, so basically you can do like, you can get 67 to 77% more effective space. Uh, if you have 100 terabytes, you basically have oh, 177 right, right, right. Just, 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 You've jumped in balls deep there, mate. Half of the people on the in on the internet don't know what you're on about. Start again. Oh. What what are you talking about? What's this what's this shitcoin? Uh this shitcoin is uh the pre mine ICO uh Chia. Okay. Yeah, so uh Mad Max from Mad Max. Uh oh well, that's his GitHub name. Okay. He uh his compression, his uh GPU compression. Uh, he's basically coming out with new levels of it, uh, like early next month or some shit. Uh, and you can get, you can have basically more more space without buying more drives. Uh, all you need is like 64 gigs of RAM, and you get like 70% more effective space. Okay, and, uh, so it's cool if you already have it. Yeah. And is. Uh... Is everyone using it at the same time, which means it's basically no benefit anymore, or is it still good to to use that at this stage? No, because uh, people don't want to pay max three <laughs> percent. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> what What are the benefits in percentage by using it? Uh, like sixty seven to seventy seven percent. Well, if it's that much higher in percentage, then why don't they want to pay max? Their th is three percent cut. I don't know. People can't math, I guess. No. Oh. So are you? Are you using it? Oh yeah. Yeah. No. <clears throat> so are you all settled now, and you've moved, and uh, you got everything set up? Uh, for the most part. I uh, still need to get a get a new chair. Yeah. By the way, how's your how's your chair? My would chair. you Would you recommend, or would you rather have spent like an extra twenty, thirty? Uh, I, I buy the cheapest chair I can get hold of. You can't actually see it because because my camera also blocks the chair. Um, I mean, it's a racing chair. I've had to give it a bit of an extra cushion padding on the back because because uh, I'm a tight bastard and I don't like spending money. Uh, but Piggy's Piggy's the chair connoisseur. Oh, that's he's, got, he's got he's got a good chair uh, and a seat. Can't go wrong with anything from them. What's the brand? And a seat. And a seat. And a seat. A N D A C. Oh. oh, I'm not looking as fan of 400 though. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty comfortable though. They Pretty're are not. extremely comfortable, yeah. even for a big guy like me. Yeah, if you if you sit like that, Piggy, you'll fall asleep again. Yep. <laughs> That's how comfortable they are. It's Monday morning at crap o'clock. There ain't nothing better to do. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to head over to the YouTube now to see what the comments are. Let's have a look. Uh, F.E. is saying, how's Piggy doing? Will he be joining today? Well, here he is, the man himself, Big Piggy. Mm, uh, sort of. Not sure of in in mind as well as in spirit. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> uh, according to the first trader, we are his favourite people. It's very nice to know. Uh, Since when do we qualify as people? 
What what do you classify us as? I I don't really know. Just... What uh, thrift stores called us? Degenerates. That's what thrift thrift store calls us. That seems somewhat more appropriate. Okay. Uh, the blue t-shirt guy with many screens behind. Are you from the Matrix? Uh, says the first trader. Uh, you got a Charlie? Yeah, it must be Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hope you're happy with that answer. Uh, will RTM tattoo on Tom Cruise's hand increase RTM value? I mean... I assume it probably will if he if he does another Mission Impossible film and he's like that with his hand in the film or something, you know. That Wait, might... he actually has a tattoo? He doesn't have an RTM tattoo, no. It's just like <laughs> a suggestion. Hypothetical. Uh, uh, okay. isn't, isn't 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 he in one of those cults where you can't do that? He's in sci he's a Scientology. Scientology, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got to get him a temporary yeah. tattoo. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Henna yeah. tattoo. <laughs> uh, or maybe Elon Musk. I emailed him, but my emails got blocked. Uh, we, we, you don't really want to mail Elon Musk. Um, yeah. Proof store hackers saying making assets are stupid easy. Uh, yeah. True. I mean, that was the that was the goal to make it much easier than uh, <coughs> EVM. A few clicks yeah. and you got an asset. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I see Wiz in chat. Thank you, Wiz, for that update. Running a smart note on Windows is pretty easy. He has that that uh, bot as well, or not? Say bot as a little app. Yeah. Uh, Wiz is saying reworking from scratch to use full settings will also be good. The first trader is saying one RTM equals two hundred and fifty three dollars soon. Not financial advice to your own research. Um. Thrift store hacker saying I'm the only YouTuber that is a Gigatoshi. That that is true. Um, that really does mean something huge. And I'm glad you feel special that you've got the realm of the Gigatoshi's role. Um, briefly yesterday, uh, you did have the bell and roll as we were doing some tests, and uh, we just want to make sure, uh, especially me and Sherman, want to make sure that there's no offence caused with that. Yeah, just testing. Uh, he's saying, I'm not even that great of a YouTube creator. She'll be lacking. You've got a good voice. I mean, I did watch the guy. Yeah. It's, it's really good. And, uh, yeah, you've got nothing to worry about, bro. Uh, but one bag, thing... Bag, I'd... bag, 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 bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one thing uh, I would like to see on your channel is um, the thrift store rapper videos, uh, because I reckon that you'll go viral with that. So uh, you should get those up on there, bro. Uh, Gigatoshi, what the fuck is that from the first trader? Uh, Gigatoshi is like Raptor emojis who are here every week playing trivia and in the community and things like that. Uh, if you want to become a Gigatoshi, you have to send one or more RTM to the rain pot, which gets rain to everyone at the end of the trivia night. And there's 10 levels, and then the 11th is the Gigatoshi. Once you get to the realm of the Gigatoshi level, what is that, Sean? A leaf blower. Oh, leaf blower. Yeah. They're always leaf blowers. Blowing leaves around, you know, it's so <laughs> an important thing to do. Uh, yeah, and then you can go in the realm of the Gigatoshis, and that unlocks uh, Discord perks as well. Yeah, secret channel, some uh, early access to things as well. Okay. You guys doing some RTM donations on live streams? Uh, I mean, we can do that, uh, but we haven't set anything like that up at the moment. Uh, we've recently become YouTube partners, which is pretty cool. Uh, big thanks to H&S 
or a hunter, as he likes me to call him in DM. <laughs> yeah, big thanks to HNS for helping us out with that, and uh, maybe we can set up streams soon. Uh, donations, sorry. Uh, we haven't actually earned anything from any ad, ad revenue at all yet. We haven't even hit the threshold, but we'll get there soon. We did hit uh, 77,000 total views the other day. I assume that's going to be much higher now. Yeah, so keep watching those videos and get our hours up. Yeah, for sure. Um, RTM giveaways. Uh, we usually do rain and things like that in the general chat. During the streams, we do some rain in the stream party chat as well. Uh, so if you want to go to the stream party chat, the link is at the top right of this stream. That is discord.gg forward slash raptorium. And, uh, and it's hashtag stream party chat at our discord, providing you complete verification. Uh, Shermie saying, send me your testnet address and I'll load you, some, load you up with some great assets. If you test that RTM, I can do that as well. Yeah, Thrift Store's saying if Tom Cruise gets into RTM, I'm out. <laughs> Fair enough, right? Uh, and he's also saying Sherm's got his wife out in the yard doing doing the yard work. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we're just going to quickly head over to the stream party chat now. We've got a couple of minutes left. Um, if anyone's got anything to ask us on the stream party chat, go ahead. Uh, HNS is saying, how is Acid's testnet going in terms of prior expectations? Anything out of the ordinary pop up? Uh, Piggy, I'll let you answer that. Not really. It's going pretty much as expected so far. There have been a couple of, but I mean, they're, they're on the minor nuisance level. Like the unlocking thing on uh, on asset transactions, but it's that's pretty much nothing. Where if you unlock the wallet from the start, it works just fine. But you have to if if you try to unlock it with the password after filling in the transaction on the form in the QT, it doesn't work. Um, but I mean, it's that's minor, relatively pedantic stuff. And there's always some of that. I'd be a lot more worried if there wasn't some of that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly uh, where, why we have testnet, right? That's what we want. We're and to see that. So it's good. It, yeah, exactly what Charlie just said. That's what a testnet is for. To get this kind of stuff hammered out, things that. Because we're only a relatively small group of people testing before it goes out to a general test net. Um, and some of us just do it like this. This one particular pattern, uh, there's always going to be something we miss. It's why it also things like audits, etc. are needed later on in the product life cycle. Uh, Alucard is saying, I like the way a big piggy handle things. He just don't give a damn. <laughs> uh, I'm actually here because I do give a damn. If I didn't, I'd rather be in bed. Uh, he's also <laughs> saying it, it will be good if we have a platform to store NFTs instead of trust in third parties. I mean... Uh, um, that's what the blockchain's for, right? That's... The blockchain, yeah. So that's uh, the story. We are working on adding the ability to actually view NFTs right from the core wallet, as well as adding metadata upload options to the core wallet as well. So you've got like a single stop solution in the core wallet. You don't need to visit a website or anything like that and get the hat from a website. That'll take a little bit because getting QT to connect to the internet is usually an incredibly bad idea, but we've got some things we can maybe work out. 
or how that could be done reasonably securely. Okay, and uh, the last comment we've got on the stream party chat is Piggy sold the field where he grows his fucks to buy more RTM. <laughs> where well, grow my what? Grow your, uh, grow, grow his fucks. He growing your fucks. Okay. You can't, you can't grow any more fucks. <laughs> he he sold, he sold your field. Animal? Oh, right. Nah, I've only sold one field. <laughs> Still got quite a few more. Okay, uh, and that about rolls you up for the oh, weekly. Oh, what we got one more question on uh, YouTube. Oh, do we? Well, we're out of time. No. Carlos asked, "What happened to Coin X RTM?" What happened to Coin X RTM? Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. We were on the chain. Uh, <laughs> absolutely nothing. Yeah, and I mean the majority of their. Uh, Funds were frozen by Tether, and some has been frozen by, uh, what's it called, that big bridge? Um, and I've helped them contact a couple of places where they didn't have immediate outreach to. So I would say they are extremely well covered. Really, those funds... Sure, you c they got away with a bit of the ETH and with a bit of the Polygon. The rest, Tron has been fully recovered, etc., etc., etc. So is XRP. That's I mean, normally I'm not in favor of that, but uh, you can see the advantages of having some nice centralized power in a situation like this. It's a trade-off. I'll only personally hold stuff like that temporarily for a cash out or cashed in. Prefer to go via Bitcoin, really. But... Um, it's got its uses. Uh, it's been interesting to see. It's been interesting to see for all the tether fudders, and we do have a few resident ones. That uh, what has been lost uh, at Coinex, Bimitano, um What was the other one? The uh, the Spanish exchange that got hacked as well. What's mainly been lost has been USDC, which a lot of idiots claim is better and more securely backed than Tether. Their react that comes down to their reaction time, plain and simple. They're asleep at the wheel and only apparently working office hours, Washington State time or something like that. All right, which, um, in, which in crypto is pathetic. Crypto Smith, I do apologize that we have run over. Uh, and I uh, thought we'd let Piggy carry on. He hasn't been here for a while. So I uh, just want to say a big thanks to everyone here on the stream for coming on. Uh, Piggy, it's nice to have you on here. Uh, Alejandro, always good. Charlie, please come back next week. Uh, Dirty Miner, uh, yeah, bring back the shit coins and uh, Sherm, thanks a lot. And uh, most of all, thanks to, thanks to you all for watching us. Be sure to stick around uh, as we've got the Crypto Smith stream. I'm going to start the stream at 10 past the hour. So Crypto Smith, if you're watching, I do apologize. It's going to be at 10 past the hour. If you want to grab one of those knives uh that crypto smith uh made on one of the last streams they are rolling up 15 minutes into the crypto smith stream uh one is a yeah, their code name the elusive one is a lick tip swooped spine knife uh which is a 10 mil spanner as well dual use but we don't recommend you uh you use it as an as a spanner because you'll cut your fingers open <laughs> and we hit, we have also like a slant tip straight spine which is a little bit like a tanto and charlie wants that one so 
you're not allowed to bid on that one. Uh, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching us, and uh, be sure to stick around. Cheers, guys. Cheers. When? When what? When update on the flashlights? <laughs> See you later, guys.